Hey, traders, what's up? Welcome to episode 359. Tia in the industry, can be doing anything, but you're here on a Wednesday night, maybe Thursday morning, whatever. Global market, 24 7, heavily manipulated, unregulated. It's okay, man, we can still be kings. And we've been kings, it's been good. It's been great, but you know, uh, after impulses where you go up 300 plus dollars in those moves, uh, you get consolidation. Unfortunately, we're consolidating, but. Though we are still above the 20 moving average on the 60 minute chart, which we're going to look at in a second. We are up sloping with our consolidation, which is not healthy. It's not healthy for the continuation of the move. Okay, so. I suppose look at it, whatever, man. All right, man. Here it is, dude. Here it is on the breakout. The impulse and then the volatility started and then you clearly see that we are consolidating making higher lows than our previous lows, right? And we were making higher highs, but now we're making lower highs than our previous highs, but still somehow, some way, managing to stay above that 20, that yellow trend line you see on your screen, right below that purple trend line, which happens to be the 50 moving average, and the red trend lines, the 200 moving average, where we had ourselves a 60 minute uh, golden cross February 18th, where we had a four hour golden cross on Valentine's Day. It was the Valentine's Day, uh, gift all right so just kind of floating along man modest mouse measure move if we broke out bearishly could yield us down here at uh, 3786 to 3800 why does that make all the sense in the freaking world this happens to be that down sloping old area that was a critical resistance right it's now hopefully to be used as a support to give validity to that trend line when you go down and if you could back test it and hold that would give the market the interpretation that we have broken out of the structure that we've been in since freaking mid to late November. So then the market says, okay, man, sounds like if we can hold prices outside of this, there's a likelihood we could break to the upside. And so where will we go? Well, we talked about that on the daily, right? <clears throat> where could we go, man? This is what we want to see, dude. We want to see us pull back on the daily time scale, and this could take a week or more. Are you prepared to be a patient person during this time? If we could pull back and back test, what would it do? It would give us on daily time scale the ability to get out of overbought territory, currently sitting around 71. Maybe we can get down to like 60s, 50s while we back test for a week. And then if we can hold off, we could run and make those common retraces that we've been oh so coveting between the 382 and the 62% retrace from the high point to the low point, the beginning, the top of the beginning of the destruction of Bitcoin, over 50% value lost in like five weeks. Uh oh, my webcam's freaking out again, man. It's always something, man. It's always freaking something i'm about to turn blue for a second on my webcam to mess with it if it does it again man it's gonna trigger me so that's what we're looking for that's what we would want that's going to be the healthiest thing for bitcoin if we're to see higher prices and just to make a major retrace a common major retrace really not a big deal to hit 44.22 from this high to low really not a big deal to hit 4800 5200 and if you look out and somehow, some way it happens, you could get above the 200 day moving average, which I don't know how you're gonna do that in this kind of trend. I don't think you will. Uh, if you, But if you did, happen to defy logic for the time being, 5,800 is your deep retrace, 78.6% 78, 78 retrace. So those are all potential possible targets. Where are we now? We're hitting that 23% retrace from our major high to major low, all right? How legendary would it be? Okay, we dreamed of it when no one was watching, when it was only the uh, the really, really faithful, the people that stuck behind the TA, that believed in it, that were here during this one month long period of January, right? Numbers just kept tapering off, tapering off, tapering, just interest lost, man. It's like we knew something was coming, man. The bullish Gartley, what if it acts as? And it seems like it has the potential to do so. 
It's going as planned so far. The bullish Garley acts as the major reversal pattern that makes us run to the major retraces. Legendary. That's all it'd be. It'd just be legendary, dude. Okay. Oh, dude. 2,000, man. 1,000, man. Zero, dude. Scam. Ponzi scheme. Who cares if it is or not, man? We don't care if Bitcoin will serve. Well, man, I guess we do. We care if Bitcoin lasts until we're dead. Yes, we care. But what we care about is the technical analysis being respected, the psychology of the markets, people looking at this and making decisions, right? What's the healthiest thing for us to get there? We sell we sell off, back test an old resistance, as support, get out of oversold territory, and then we run again to hit our more major retraces in a bear trend. That's it. And then after that, yeah, let the bears have it, dude. Because up here, these are going to be extremely nice areas to take short positions, okay? You're going to be monitoring each one of these fib nodes to check to see if we have bearish divergence, bearish patterns, receding volume. That's what we're going to be looking for at these fib nodes, each one, if we ever made it up there. So, <sighs> whatever, man, this could take a while. Uh, the way that it's drew this trend line, this is like late March, dude. Okay, this is like, this is like uh, St. Patrick's Day area. Are you prepared to wait that long for stuff to happen if it does? Because it might. Okay. Anyway, man. Hope you are having a wonderful evening. We're halfway through the week. Tomorrow's Thursday. The next day's Friday. And I don't I don't remember what the next day is after that one, but uh, maybe y'all can help me. I don't know. All right, hey, say hello to chat. Really great, man. What's up, Sticky E? Shane Grant. Uh, MK wants some unit. Dude, isn't that what uh, the Brits say? Oh, what is it? By God, that guy's uh, a unit or something. What do they say? I don't know. Might be the strands. I can't remember. It's slang talk. What's up, Alex Cobman, the gang, man? What's up, Cobman? What's up, Jeremy S? Uh, Jurgen, hello, man. Eric Coffeen. Josh Bell, Rich Mitz, Crypto Cracker Dude, P. Miller wants some nav. Oh my God, man. P. Miller, I thought we were friends, man. I thought we were friends, dude. <laughs> yeah, we'll look at it, of course. What's up, uh, Ruby Lively? Good to see you. It's been a minute. MK loves the tunes. Kangs, dude. Love it, man. I don't know. We should uh, changing up the uh, genre a little bit. Past few days. Whatever. This is a Kodo. Kudovisky, 86, Crystal Dreams. Oh, it sounds like a Russian's in here. Kudovisky. Speaking of one of our very own wonderful, I think, uh, you know, friends from the Balkan, one of the Balkan states, Vasha Natasha was absolutely lights out today. Friggin' love her. I don't know if she's watching, but I really appreciate her. And everyone else. Y'all are just fantastic, okay? Holy crap. To rescale my OBS, give me so. I'm not sure if I'm digging the saxophone. I'm gonna mirror y'all, whatever y'all want. If y'all hate it, let me know. What's up, 1G Project Man? Hungry Probe, Rick Schmitz. Alright, sure, dude. I remember that one was a breakout of a down sloping channel, if I recall. Never doesn't betray me, whatever. Feels like 80s Night Skyrim, man. Sorry, dude. It is not 80s night, but it's got 80s music. Who cares? Shane Grant. Thanks, dude. Hey, Jack Black. How you doing, man? Wobble my jello. Paro. Midnight. They're awesome. Yes, they are. What's up, Blue Patient? Jamie Catrona. Nexus of Hate coming on Twitch, dude. And there's Irwin Coffee coming in also on Twitch. Cheers, man. Natech, holy heck, I shaved. Yep. Boss Alpha. Yep. Man, where y'all been? Been here for... Been shaving for 24 hours now. <clears throat> I look clean, man. Maybe that's good. Maybe that's bad. <laughs> First thing he said is... I look like a baby. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Really? Mika said that. Well... Hey. Tell him if I'm a... If I look like a baby, bring it on in Super Smash Brothers, alright? 
Come at me. Cab up. So uh, Robert Kirk, man. Roger Hill, yes, 12. Looks 12 now, maybe 13. Hey. Hey, man, I've got at least my learner's permit. All right. Voltaire, yeah, sure, I'll put it on the list, man. Another one that's just been a minute. I think DCR was the one that was, like, kind of Terran, like, Link, right? What's up, William Battles, dude? Uh, yeah, ADA. Yeah, we looked at ADA earlier in the or in the day stream. Sure, man. On the list. It's a boogers guy. Aunt C. Hello. Yep. Said the. Uh, why would I want to go back to the year two thousand when Alabama lost to Michigan and Tom Brady? Tom Brady's last collegiate game, he beat Alabama in overtime because of a freaking our field goal kicker missed the PAT. Such a joke, man. Days to forget. Year two thousand. What's happening with the XRP Golden Cross? I don't know, man. It's it's happening. Talked about it in stream today. Uh, let's go to Ethereum and then Ripple. All right, man. It's continuing to upslope, right? Double topping. Double topping. Look, we're hitting the same. We hit the same high that we hit before, and we have negative momentum. Dude, that's, that's gross, man. That's not good. And you hit the same high, and you've got lower levels of relative strength. That is bearish divergence, man. I'm sorry. That's not good, man. That is asking for a sell-off. Though we could remain irrational and just keep on going crazy. Uh, Oscillator is telling us bad things. There's negative momentum on a double top. Dude, volume. Receding volume. Like, dude, look at the volume on this second top from first top. It's almost... Uh, it's like inexistent compared to the first move right so you could expect to see lower prices on ethereum for the short term there's a long way we could go a lot of room to run look how far away we are from the 50 moving average and the bottom trend line of our potential ascending broadening wedge okay and and really fibbing if this was the major swing high or the high that we've established from the low to the high we have not even retraced 23 percent of the way and so we could see the common retrace be between 121.91 and 133.94. That's just between the 618 and 382. That's it, man. You'd hope you wouldn't hit that, and maybe we could just run down, fall below the 236, and just bounce off maybe the 50 moving average or the bottom upsloping trend line. Right? That's that's kind of what you're looking for. So that's not good. That's not bullish. Okay. Showing weakness there. Definitely showing weakness. All right, man. That's that's really it, dude. Congratulations. Ethereum for hitting a 78.6% retrace from its high to low. Swing traders have taken profits and probably just have a percentage left of of their trade just in case the windfall happens. That's about it, man. Now we're waiting for pattern development. Well, it looks like we might be getting a small pattern. I bet on the 60 minute, it looks even more, more promising of a double top. But you can see it developing on the four hour. Okay, man. It would make sense to move down before going higher what do you even want man february 5th 102 dollars february 5th you know what it is now it's the 20th february 150 freaking dollars dude are you kidding me like that's insane dude that's crazy gains like it's it's got like, it just makes sense to pull back before running again all right <clears throat> Thanks, uh, Ojai Punk, uh, for the compliment, man. Thanks for uh, tuning in and uh, being here. It's an honor. Oh, God. No thanks, Crypto Realist, man. Go start your own channel, dude. And go uh, convince people to watch you. All right? Thanks. I got a dense fog advisory. Dense fog advisory, ladies and gentlemen. Has just uh, been issued by the National Weather Service in my local area. Um, you know what that means, right? Okay, man. Got the fog coming, dude. Fog is here. Alright, so let's go to... Uh, 
XRP and we'll keep looking through chat, all right? Well, okay, man, no change. Seems like we're making a lower high than our previous high. Not good, man. Bearish convergence, lower highs than your previous highs, lower levels of relative strength, negative momentum on the lower high, but you're still above the four hour 20 moving average. Yeah, Golden Cross just occurred today. Discussed in the day stream. It's fine, it's great, good stuff. It's a lagging indicator though, so don't bank on it. But all we did was talk about how it is a prerequisite to any sort of nice, longer, uh, sustained uptrend of some sort. And you would probably need to have it in this situation if you're to run above the 382, which we hit that common retrace zone. And it's just hilarious because I mean, Alex Cobb and the Kang have been following it. Right. Hey, uh, John Picardo, man, thanks for the uh, follow on Twitch. Really appreciate it, man. Much love. Welcome. If, you, if we hit 5k Bitcoin, I don't know, man. Dude, those are areas where you have made perfect retraces, wonderful areas to go short on Bitcoin at 5k, man. What's up about Remus, dude? That's it. Absolute unit, CL Miranda. That's it. So Bob the Builder, man. Welcome. Alessandro. De La Grave. Liam Ivy. Kangs indeed. Good seeing you too, Motek, man. Thanks for chiming in. The slow up trend is a good way to shake off hands. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. The consolidation, the eight, eight day consolidation we saw shook a lot of people. It's a Bart Simpson, man. All right, dude. Couldn't be a pennant or a wedge. After a huge, nice impulse, bullish garlic pattern. Come on, dude. Guy says uh, 4,004 on live coin watch. Oh boy, man. Oh boy. Time to go all in then. Cap up. Mika has to go to bed. <laughs> Tell him, who's the little boy now? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> it's fun though. It's fun, right? No, I'm just kidding. But uh, no, he can stay up as long as he wants. Well, as long as you let him. But uh, yeah, I hear you. Good stuff, Michael, man. You're selling your beanie babies, going all in on like one. Be careful, CWG man. Be careful. Hey Curtis, what's up, dude? What's up, Aunt C? Christopher Harris, dude. Scoured, sleep well, man. Yeah, beach like patience is a must in this space. It's actually a must in all spaces. If you're doing this particular style of trading or analyzing it requires patience everywhere not just this market okay <sighs> sorry dude, i'm just getting through chat man there's a lot of it and uh what do you want me to do man? what do you want me to do all right i guess while we're still going through chat i'm just going to keep on going to next assets on the chart all right let's go to absolute unit might or bollocks because I'm from England and unit is an absolute bearish unit right nasty downtrend use this as the anchor point why ah it's just not as simple as just picking the tops and bottoms right how does this doesn't even make sense dude nothing touches or makes any sense right but when I move it to where C is of this it's not really a Gartley. It's a. It's. It seems like it's a harmonic, right? It doesn't meet the criteria of any kind of Gartley because it only has a 38% retrace. But nice double bottom. We ran up, retraced about 78% of the way, 76.7% of the way, and then sold off. 382 hit, 60% retrace hit. You, you know, when you see these these types of patterns develop, I mean, they don't have to be perfect and. Um, you're gonna see these that don't meet the criteria exactly, but when they hit, they, they can hit the, the common retraces or the deep retraces and sell off and hit targets perfectly when you see those reversals, seriously, in a downtrend. All right. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Anyway, uh, when I move that bottom trend line to C from February 7th, 2018, you can see all the respect starts lining up. Heartline 25, 75, 
Heartline, Heartline, uh, 75 support. Give me a break, man. 25 resistance. It's just not as simple as one, two, three. You have to, that's why we have an equidistant channel so we can check our math. We can check, we can read between the lines. Puns intended, many puns, many, no kappas though, no kappas. Oh yeah, so what's happened dude? We had a nasty, nasty gap down. I don't even know how much, what percentage loss we had yesterday or the day before, but uh, we were sitting at a price of like 19 bucks. We dumped and we're somehow down to $12 and tw uh, 27 cents. All right, any kind of horizontal line support? Oh no, oh no, nothing. All time lows, dude. All time lows. Dude, I don't even know what to tell you, man. I, I, dude, is this a swing low? It probably, right? I guess. I guess you could try to gap here, or excuse me, uh, there's a gap down. I'm saying you could maybe try to fib here. Sorry, there's a wick there. Really see it. So if that's the case, we've like uh, wicked off the 23% uh, retrace twice now. So it does seem as though we have created ourselves a major swing load that we can fib because that 23% has been hit. Thank you for your hard work and for taking me to school every day. Nexus of Hate, man. Thanks for the six dollars and ninety cents, dude. What, man? Do I do I look like a freaking school bus driver, man? Maybe I do. No, I probably looked more like a school bus driver with the beard. I don't know what I look like now. Someone said I look like some person from True Blood in the stream earlier. They made it. They left like a static video of it. I don't know, man. I look like things that people think okay that's how it is but uh, thank you nexus of hate man really appreciate it the twitch jesus man thanks dude okay so largest spike of negative momentum ever on the four hour i'm sure on the daily too oh yeah yep history made history made mk on both oscillators straight up man 16 <clears throat> that's it man that's that's the worst weakest and uh highest spike in negative momentum ever all right okay man crap those fibs went away i need to get those back all right There's that daily, dude. Oh, man. Double rejection right there. No bueno, man. I mean, it doesn't look good, but we'll see. Looks awful, dude. The rally is scrubbed out. That's, that's not good, man. Could expect lower prices. Uh, it's probably <clears throat> a breakaway gap, right? Probably definitely a breakaway gap. So even if you retrace 38% of the way, you could just sell off there. Or the 50%. Or even here, dude. All right. So much uh, selling pressure comes in. Okay, I keep going through chat. What's up, Michael Blast? U.S. still has some room to grow. <laughs> okay. So you think, man, that thing has uh, gone straight up and the chickens will come home to roost Bobby Boucher. All right, they will for EOS. So about Francisco, dude? What, Robert Kirk? Why, why is, how is that possible, dude? Hold on, what? Dude, I'll turn off the stream right now, Robert Kirk. How is this happening? How do they have that, dude? I'm very secure, man. How would they in the world have that info? Dude, that's serious, man. Where? Whoa, how is this happening?
Hold on a sec, y'all. Uh, this is uh, serious stuff. I gotta see what's going on. I need to... Um, anybody? Like Discord? Someone? Talk to me. What the... That's serious business, man. That's like not a joke. Now I'm all like freaking out. Okay. <clears throat> My account open to the world. You're talking about uh, who is who is he, Robert Kurt? And uh, what are you what are you talking about, man? Like, uh, if you're talking about that that previous channel, he only has the data from when I was on his channel. Okay, is that what you're talking about? Not right now. Not like. Oh yeah, he has the data from like what I've made this month and all the other months where I left. I'm on my own thing, dude. I'm not on his. Okay. I need confirmation. I, I really need. To, I need you to whisper me in uh, in Discord. Seriously, Robert, this is not a joke. When was this, Robert Kirkman? When was this? Get this like serious stuff. <clears throat> That's okay if he does that. If he like was showing the numbers from his own stream elements when I was streaming on his stream elements when it's hooked up there, that's fine. I don't really care about that. I'm just thought, I thought you were talking about literally right now. He can see all the tips I've made today, the day before, the last month, three months. That's all I really care about. What uh, what's being t what's being talked about in it? Yeah, no, uh, I'm I'm looking at it right now. I'm, I'm just wondering, Robert, what the context was of why this is being addressed. Why is this even br being brought up? So weird, dude. Right. RJ Jamal kid. An idiot, dude.
Nice one, dude. Nice one. Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, rise above it. Sure, man. I, did I not do that? <laughs> he should see it now. <laughs> Whatever, dude. I don't care. Okay. So, uh, let's go to NAV, man. Let's go to NAV for Mr. P. Milliman. Alright, so what we broke out, man, we broke out of the downsloping structure that we've been in forever. Like dude, look at this heart line, heart line, heart line, resistance, can't break it, finally just got through it. Sideways, nothing, right? Just like no no development. There was some bullish divergence, but like literally like no demand, no buying pressure for nav coin, whatever nav is. Okay. Just making kind of like lower highs than your previous highs. Just bouncing along an upsloping channel. It doesn't really look that good, man. But I, I guess I, I see what, why you'd want to see it just because it's at such a low area of potential risk. I get you, man. I get you. I just, um, I don't know what we're, where we're gonna go with this though, right? I mean, there's just like supports and you know, like it could fall down here or here, right? They're just all, they're all over the place, man. They're all over the place. They're in different spots everywhere between each other. It's all weird and choppy, man. But you gotta like how this uh, channel's respected with the heart line resistances and stuff like that. So, uh, let's zoom in a little bit. I think we got price contraction for sure, right? There was like a false breakout, right? You had it like that. Failed to uh, fall to lower prices and bounced. Yeah, man. Not, a little triangle, right? A little triangle. Alright. A little triangle. Let me uh, change the color here. Scheme. So, it's made of triangle. Very large, very wide. I don't, I don't know, dude. Like, if you'd want to use the measure move here, you, you could. It's just a very large pattern, right? So, if it's to break to the upside. Can you see my poop coin? Q and T. Yeah, Josh, man. Thanks for the uh, 420 contribution, man. Thanks, dude. On the list. Certainly. <clears throat> Measure move. Dude, I can't. I can't grab it, dude. Where we broke out from, right? Could be the upside or downside. But hey, nice that we had a false breakout. False breakouts are good, man. When you fail, when you have failures, it means you do a lot of times have. Uh, chances of breaking the upside but the thing is this i don't know if this is a premature breakout but you can clearly see that we're just using this trend line right here to bounce before we run back into this smaller pattern less significant pattern but it's pretty significant if you ask me right just because man the move that you could get when you finally break out for real of this uh price contraction consolidation pattern could be do could be up to like uh 500 sats or 337 cents, man. That's real bad. But hey, you know, we would make sense down here, right? Why would it make sense down here? Look, all these areas of support where we get bounced, man. It's just nav, dude. This is not really that great, man. It's just like, whatever, dude. Nav coin. Oh, yeah. This was, uh, it, this one didn't say. We're trying to look at it on here. Old quant, dude. So the bull pull bull flag. The old bull pull bull flag. <clears throat> Slowly down sloping consolidation. I 
hard to hard to you know with the wicks and stuff. It's really hard to um, do this. So like you're actually not quite down sloping. You're kind of just bouncing, bouncing. Okay, but it's almost like you're just like range bound too. Canticles. I mean, what do you mean do with the wicks, dude? Well, you want to cherry pick and just randomly pick one wick? I mean, it's hard, dude, with these low volume S coins, dude. Beanie babies. Like, oh, I'm just gonna randomly pick one. Oh, what do I do with this wick, dude? What am I supposed to do here? You got uh, support and resistance, right? Candle closes, and uh, clearly a wick and a candle close, right? That's it. You're you're kind of going sideways, right? <clears throat> Hold on a sec. Serious <clears throat> TOS breach, man. That's real bad. It's real bad. Best of luck to him. Dude, it feels so weird still, man. But eventually. Just gonna catch up on chat now, since we, you know, right? I mean, it, I know it kind of seems like maybe you could try to make something work with down sloping. I mean, you, you see the same high, and then the the lower high, right? You hit like a ninety percent. That's like that partial, legit. That's like that partial rise. I don't know though. It's not a partial rise because you never hit the bottom here this time. So, eh, can't call it that. Can't do it. But you know, you're right at that fifty moving average on the floor. You're in the dead middle of a zone, right? You're in the dead middle of some sort of range. So uh, this is a really scrubby place. You're flipping a coin, you wanna go to Vegas? I mean, or you wanna gamble, go to Vegas. So you get free drinks. Don't, I mean, you can gamble here on Quant in the dead middle of a range, but lowest risk, highest risk for a long. You can't short Quant, I'm sure, so. Always a lot to, yeah, dude. We looked at XRP, man. Golden Cross happened down four hour chart. Good stuff, man. It's great. Zipper thinks QNT is fundamentally one of the best coins. Why? Tell us why, Zipper, man. Don't just say that. Give us, like, lots of reasons why. So people can argue or debate you or be enlightened if your points are astute enough, right? Yeah, I'll put XLM on the list, Remus. Okay, man. XLM broke out of a downsloping channel, too. Momo shift. As of yesterday, I believe.
my god, man. Every crypto ever. Let's analyze them all, man. What, Richard Johnson? Dead cat bounce? Where, dude? What you talking about, man? So, Mr. Shepard, dude. Yeah, I feel like we should, like, move Litecoin up because it's moved today. I think it's, like, more important than all these other S coins y'all are talking about. Just because, like, the move, man. The move happened, right? There you go, man. Alright, so... What's happening for real? Look where we are. Look at all this resistance up here. A lot of resistance, right? Not easy to break. You've hit a 38% retrace, man. What do you want? You had a bull pull bull flag that almost hit the measure move. It was off by like less than $2. Measure move. And we broke out of the channel. Barely back testing it. I don't know if this is going to hold, man. Why? There's bearish divergence, man. Bearish divergence. All right. More power to you, Litecoin, if you do. But if the way Bitcoin's looking, if Bitcoin pulls back to do what we think it might do, then Litecoin's going with it, man. And you know what that means. No room. It's going to sell back into this upsloping channel. Okay. So we're extended above the 20 moving average, 50, 200. All of them way up here, way up here on Litecoin. Be careful. Be careful. is claiming that quant is like windows for blockchain it can connect them all interesting man i didn't know that man make sure letting some people know they didn't know about a project all right cool dude i know uh the only thing i knew about quant was it was like sometimes in the top 100 cryptocurrencies it was like a leader like one of the top gainers of the day that's all i know about it so all i knew about it before so it's in a like one, man. Fantastic move to the upside. Very, very nice. And down sloping channel. Uh, we broke out of it. Remember the inverse head and shoulders, man? What about that trade setup? It was nuts, man. Very nice gains there. It was like 20% gain in like, I don't know, like 10 hours or something. Wonderful. Anyway, so, uh, okay. Your retrace from the high point to low point of the structure. 58, uh, or, or really the 49, 89, up to 67 dollars. Anywhere between there, and we're we're in it. We're in the golden retrace. So if you're showing some weakness, right? Like from a high to a higher high with lower levels of relative strength, lower levels of positive momentum. That is a uh, saying that we have impending price action reversal to the downside, which is okay because what are you mad at, man? Dude, again, Litecoin February 7th was at 33 dollars. Okay, we have almost doubled in value in a couple weeks. Calm down, everybody. Just calm down. Don't freak out on this thing not going higher before going lower. All right. Just saying, man. Traders are making money. All right. It is not the beginning of a bull run, a long-term sustained bull run. There's no evidence of that at all, dude. The evidence at hand on a four-hour chart is telling us lower prices first, then maybe higher prices after pattern development and where we decide to pivot. What FIBNA all right, that's it. Okay. Cool story on my coin, right? Oh, yeah, man. Uh, this That's it, dude. ONT went uh, range bound, right? Sure did. Here, here you go, man. While we plot them, while we plot them, you've got your range, right? You've got your, like, outer range and your inner range, okay? It'll happen, man. This is what uh, capitulation moves look like. You'll, you'll get, this is, ex this is almost identical to what we saw back in 2013, 2014. You know what? Just for fun, dude, okay? We're going to do this. 
And I don't know if my memory is going to betray me or not. I'm going strictly off memory here. But we're going to try to make comparisons to ONT to BTC to Bitcoin to the US dollar back when it was going through its eight, eight month long range bound journey. Okay, before breaking the upside and becoming Kangs. It really doesn't matter, but it's cool just to look at. All right, that's it. Give it a second. Oh, oh, wait. Okay, we're good. <clears throat> Excuse me. I go the daily here. I know it's different. Just hold on. Fifteen, fourteen. All right. Let me try to look at this, dude. Okay. All right. So we had the one wick, and then we had all right. Yeah, the, the outer range. Candle closes too, right? And then the range up here. Okay. That the, that this is a uh, Bitcoin. Okay, the the capitulation. We went sideways, sideways, then went down and double bottomed one more time. This was like, dude, from January 2015 all the way to October of 2015. All right, so 10 months <clears throat> we were th we were within a range, right? Uh, the outer range, the inner range. Okay, so you got the same type of looking stuff right now, don't you? On ONT to BTC, where you have the big big capitulation move right then you uh create yourself that higher low the higher low and you're doing it again okay now you're running up okay and so maybe we'll sell off again man maybe we'll get back down hey your lowest risk area for an entry for ONT is like 1367 dude okay you can wait for it all you want but high risk for a long fair the highest risk for a long right the only way you're going to get a little any any higher risk is coming up here this little wick <clears throat> the very top 1994 anyone uh, get a kick out of this I don't know man we're just it just made me think about this for good reason, right? Am I crazy here, man? Someone let me know. Thanks. Ray. Thanks, uh, MK man, for the 50, dude. Thank you, dude. Love you, man. Appreciate it. I don't know what's going on over there, but, uh, whatever, man. We're just in our own world here, man. We don't really, like, go out of the TA world, you know, the news world. We kind of, I don't know, man. We, we keep to ourselves here pretty hardcore, don't we? Dude, that's a big deal, MK. I really appreciate that. Uh, top, you're the top Jesus of the evening, MK man. Thanks, dude. Miss Shadow man, don't talk about her, dude. Please. What's the point, dude? All it's gonna do is I'm gonna read it and feel like crap, dude. Come on. Good, Robert Kirk, man. I really appreciate uh, the honesty and the candor, man. Mars Martian, you're about to go all in on Mitch Raycoin. No cabin, man. Thanks, dude. Okay, let's go. Fireworks. Thank y'all for the 100 likes. Really, y'all are lights out every time. Okay. Much love. 
And uh, it's time for your local on the 8th. Oh my god. Been live for like an hour. Heck yeah, man. So we'll just get rid of ONT here, man. to home base, right? The breakout, the breakout of the downsloping structure we've been in since uh, mid to late November, man. Thanks, uh, Jonathan, man. Much love, dude. How does ONT cost more than ONT? What? Dude, it's all like... Oh, Seriously, there's so much Fugazi in this market that we have no idea it's for real Fugazi. We have, like, hints of it. But, dude, you're just going to be, like, tinfoil hat guy until, like, more evidence comes to light from more major sources, right? This. That's it, dude. Strike a trick you in, man. All right, so uh, this is the four-hour chart. We have hit a 78% retrace from C to D. And we're stalling, stalling, stalling. Consolidations of sloping. Good 60 minutes. Like the title of the stream, man. You just got the impulse up and you just keep up sloping higher lows. And you had higher highs. Now you're making lower highs in your previous highs. Ugh. All right. Some people are arguing and saying, hey, man, is that a triangle, dude? Uh, I don't think so, man. Um... You could maybe make the argument it is, but look, you had the low, you ran up, confirmed the, the low. You confirmed the reaction low by running up and hitting the top again. So now you need to run down to the bottom to confirm the the reaction high, right? We haven't done that. We're still just holding with the 20 MA, right? So it doesn't matter, man, because a measure move is going to put you all the way up here anyway, right? If you broke out or something, so really not that helpful. I mean, I guess I get it. I mean, a little bit of price contraction, certainly. A little bit the higher lows and the lower highs yeah sure sure man but you don't look you can do your thing and i can do mine and we can both be right that's the video technical analysis man and come to different conclusions right when we had our legendary gartley breakout we also had an adam and eve double bottom a falling wedge okay so you didn't even have to have a gartley you could have other things and been correct as well so don't think there's just some magic way one way there's many ways be successful, but you just got to figure it out and make it your own. You can do check on how he died tonight, right? like too much man right a little too <sighs> monkey ass to me man i think we're gonna do it maybe i don't know man i kind of think about changing it up i don't know any of these songs okay yeah dude i think i'm gonna do this sorry this is weird I'm really getting freaked out ICX doing things, man. Yeah, we had a falling wedge, man. 
Yeah, I know, APTP. It was a playlist generated by YouTube, man, for the synthwave stuff. I can't help that it sometimes brings in vocals, right? We're good here, though. There's no vocals, really, at all on this ever. Okay. Okay, man. So there's your 60-minute bid corn. All right, man. Just doing the local mates, reiterating the analysis. Okay. Hey, another range bound cryptocurrency. Another request DCR to BTC, man. I'm really done much with it. Just kind of left it alone. But here's a scary thing, man. Scary, scary stuff. <clears throat> All right, so it's the same thing, right? The big move down. Oh my God! And then. Rally, just making those higher lows, but they're the same lows. And look where you are, man. You're just like la la land, dude. You're just all these wicks, dude. It's tough, man. This one's tough. Like lower highs, your previous highs. Okay. Serious moves. So uh, you've got a real big scare going on right there, but it seems like you double bottomed on the RSI, slightly higher levels of relative strength, and they definitely had some uh, bullish divergence, I guess. man okay I, I, look I, I don't know dude I don't want to even know about the stupid wick dude these low liquidity S coins all right Remember, low to die I don't even think that wick makes sense dude okay it doesn't make sense all right so you didn't even hit the 1272 man which is 4251 you got as low as 4266 so you were like you know whatever 15 sats off that 1272 extension before you popped uh, where did you pop it was very random dude just nowhere just like I don't know this somewhere you bottomed but you're holding, you're holding, it looks like a support back from January 14th of this year. And that's about it. Okay, straight down. Straight down with a little bit of bullish ever. And say, you're talking about potentially low risk areas. I mean, yeah, yeah, DCR, man. 60 minute chart, looking at it. I don't know what to do with these wigs, man. They're just it's ridiculous, dude. Okay. So if that was the case and we could run back up, I mean, look, every time though, I hate the lower highs. There's the same high here, too. Jeez. But now you have this high. Now you have this high. So what you could do maybe a uh, conservative little play here where we are. Simple as that, man. On DCR. Interesting, dude. I kind of dig it, man. I kind of freaking dig it. See, I don't know, man. Like, setting a stop up here is weird because the wick. You normally always, let's look the rule. You want to kind of put it below the wick. A little bit below the wick. Just in case the double bottom wick and then you run again. So, it, just, it looks something like that. It's like 5 to 1. 5 to 1 reward to risk situation here. And if you wanted a secondary target, say we, we like it happened. We were good. Played out. Secondary target. And then you can even have a third target at the very top, man. All right, that's where you were looking on DCR. Beautiful, dude. Freaking beautiful. Thanks for uh, requesting it, okay? Much love. I like all the generational Marias, Mr. Shepard, man. Okay, man, I'm not sure about Apple going uh, above 175 or not, dude. Sierra Melbourne. I'll be alright, man. No worries about that, dude. Dude. Like you think, man. Like you think that, but... Uh, like... Volatility. Lack of volatility kills me as a streamer. It's not... Big sell-offs, dude. It's the lack of volatility. It's the consolidation periods that kill us. One second.
All right, here's your apple. <clears throat> All right. Remember the balance of the 62% retrace, the golden retrace man with the bullish divergence? Wow. A couple coinciding variables. Remember the rising wedge where we broke out bullishly? <laughs> Hit the measured move of it and then dumped? Love it. But since then, man, like all these gap fill supports, whatever, we found one. From your ultimate high, your all time high, to your low. Candle close, candle close. Oh, yeah, dude. I think uh, we could ease. We could hit uh, 176 MK, uh, assuming the macro holds on, dude. The volume receding, though. Hmm. Right. That's not really good, is it? Okay. So, kind of looks like a channel, right? Just a channel, like a lot, right? One and two, and then three up here. Yup. That's it, dude. There you go, man. All right. So. Uh, yeah, 382 is 176, so we could go over 175. Yes, we have not made that technical common retrace. We've not touched it. We got as high as 175.51, but never hit 176.71. All right, so depends on the market. You think I'm handsome without the beard? Thank you so much for earlier, Basha. You are absolutely incredible. Freaking love you. Okay. Unreal. Okay. So great. Juan Pablo Castro. Thanks for the sub on YouTube. Kangs. Okay, man. Thank you, dude. I'm out of beverage, man. That was it, dude. That was it. My last sip. Crap. Remember to hit that like button, that bell, that sub if you're enjoying the uh, programming or the broadcast or whatever. Looking at Apple, high to low. We have not yet quite hit that 382, but that's almost close enough, right? Almost close enough. Uh, uh, receiving volume on higher prices. Eh. Yeah, you've lost almost all your positive momentum, but you still have some, right? And your RSI is hot, but not too hot. It's starting to turn around. We're at 61. I think that Apple could, could still keep going, MK man. It looks okay. But it really is all depending on the major index, right? S&P 500, the Qs. Dude, my freaking webcam just did that crap again. <clears throat> J2, uh, if I was in a situation where all of a sudden randomly I have like Litecoin at a certain price, yeah, I might definitely shaves I would probably shave some off that's me though that's not like me telling you to do it I'm saying like yeah airs resistance bearish divergence outside of a channel we just broke out of after a huge extreme impulse okay yeah sure thing okay man sure thing dude thank you man all right thanks for the contribution Gage man, thanks for the sub, dude. Kings. Someone requested earlier. All right. I know at this point, you could probably anchor one and two and three on the top side. We haven't done it yet. Uh, we're just looking at the shorter term. This is where we did a great education segment today on how you can be a simple trader, simple TA man, or a more complex, complicated TA man, right? We talked about support resistance, bullish divergence, and then we started bringing in the channel and we brought in the falling wedge, right? There's just so many ways you can be a winner in these markets. It's just not one way. Anyway, this one kind of reminds me of NEO, right? where you look, they look like a scrubby head and shoulders. You might just be screwed, but Bitcoin looked bullish. We analyzed Bitcoin and we knew that it seemed like it was going to be making higher prices. So we said, all right, if that's the case, 
We like the we like the altcoins that are tied to the U.S. dollar pair because we know they just inherently break to the upside when Bitcoin runs up. So that's what we that was our you know our thoughts on Neo. And so we played, played off first on Neo way before ADA made moves, I think. So uh, whatever, but you know from this low point to this uh, area up here of resistance, we've we've run up and we've hit it. So fibbing though, from the high to low, 62% retrace. The golden retrace and a down sloping resistance kind of breaking it, but making lower highs above the 20 moving average on the four hour chart. All right, but uh, oh, so dang man, that's like some convergence right there. High, higher, high, higher lows relative to the strength. And we've kind of reset the RSI, but you do have them high to a higher high lower levels of positive momentum so we do have uh, some form of bearish divergence up here at critical areas there you go man so you can barely see it but it's there it's definitely there okay man there's your idea so it, you could expect possibly potentially a move down like higher risk areas high to low dude that's like the top of the common retrace area of course you could run up one more fib node and then sell off but You'd expect with well, our analysis of Bitcoin, uh, it's going to stay within that uh, upsloping little flag or fallout, right? I mean, it's probably not going to run up, hit the top of the upsloping flag, and then break out bullishly. We have our measured move there in case it does that. But uh, some of these coins are showing a little bit of short term, short term, it's keyword exhaustion. So they could sell off and we make some, con some nice consolidation. That's healthy behavior. We want to see that, but might not get it. We'll, we might get it after we run up one more time. I don't know, dude. All right, so about, about a message per minute in chat. Looks like everyone's getting some shut eye. I don't know, man. Uh, I guess we can look at uh, EOS maybe, and then we can wrap it up, right? Unbelievable, man. All right. Dude, This I'm telling you, when this thing, the rug gets pulled, it's going to be brutal. It's going to be a nasty, nasty red dump real fast, almost as fast as it ran up. You'll see. You'll see. You may not believe me now. We broke out of the upsloping equidistant channel. We're actually using that as support. We back tested it. Crazy. But as you can see, with the uh, very nice sized and well established symmetrical triangle, we broke out and we actually have doubled the, the measured move. That's what this is for, just to give you a little scope of vision. All right, so good for us. 2618 exceeded, still above it, but barely. Look at all these areas of resistance you have broken. I just don't know how you're going to sustain prices above all these. Good luck, EOS, man. But if it happens, that's great, but I don't know, man. Look, just you can plot all day, right? Just different areas of support, 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 support. Like, dude, all these supports, you just busted through all of them. It's like capitulatory, right? Very, it's like, that's like inverse capitulation, man, right? Where you have all these different areas. Look, look, look at it this way, man. Where we had, look, yeah, right? We had all these supports, dude, but you just disregarded all of them, acted like they didn't even exist. That's a form of capitulation. So we had like positive capitulation on the way up. Crazy, man. So that should make you think, hmm, is this sustain sustainable? I don't, I don't think so, man. Best of luck to EOS. Okay, best of luck. It's gonna be tough sustaining prices above these areas for very long. <clears throat> Ashry man, none below, dude. Thank y'all. Thanks for the uh, 174 people tuned in right now. Really appreciate it. Uh, we're just looking at EOS being ridiculous, okay? Exceeding the measure move, doubling it. This RSI hit 87. We're currently sitting at uh, 73. Nice shaver, man. Look at this, man. The high, we're higher. Look at the levels of positive momentum are much lower. 
but your lower, le lower levels are relative strength. You're showing some of that divergence now, and you're overbought still. You, you telling me, man, we're going to keep going, dude? There is a much higher chance we sell off than us going to higher prices right now. Much higher. That's right, fueled by Irwin Coffee, Ethiopian Irwin Coffee, to be specific, man. Irwin.coffee is the website, too. Don't forget that, man. Dow Futures, 26,069 MK, man. Yeah, dude. <laughs> you can see this, man. MK, dude. Yeah, look at the look at the S and P man seven or twenty seven ninety six MK. These are your futures S and P five hundred E mini futures. You're going MK man, you're going dude. Continuing to go, but holy crap man. I mean, does this not just look like some sort of freaking wedge, dude? Like, I know, okay, oh, man, it's gonna keep on running up forever, dude. All right. Let's see how I'm gonna do this now. All right, MK, dude, does it not look like an insane wedge? That's like a textbook rising wedge right there, dude. At the top of it. Look, a high, a higher high. You're now making much higher highs and you just started making positive momentum. Uh, no, no luxury of divergence on the RSI. You're not getting back into overbought territory. 74. You can see S&P 500 futures chart. Beautiful wedge, man. I mean, it's a beautiful wedge. This is one you would you could print out and put on your wall. It looks wonderful, man. These are reversal patterns. We'll see, man. Let's just defy gravity a little bit longer, right? I do enjoy them to a brush, man. No, I'm not uh, cold exposed, man. I'm all right. Dude, it's just like such high risk, man. Like, I don't even know, dude. It's just like FOMOing at this point, right? Huge FOMO. Shaving me. Some people don't. Some people do. Whatever. Turn off these freaking clouds. Just because we had a fog advisory. Sorry, dude. Kale. So, MK, Josh, Nexus of Hate. Thank y'all three for the contributions tonight. Really appreciate it. Thanks for a handful of new subs. Much love there. I will be back, of course, tomorrow. So until next time, respect T.A.